Now let's do Tech Thursday. So Ghana has not been spared the menace of pneumonia, an illness that still remains a public health burden the world over. Now research shows newborns suffer this the most. But the good news is scientists at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and a Konfunachi Teaching Hospital have designed a bead to detect early stages of pneumonia. Now on Tech Thursday today, Lava Films' Kwesi Debra interacts with the lead scientists behind the innovation. Stay tuned. Attending to a pen early morning to feed the flock has become a second nature for young men. This attention was solely enjoyed by his four year old son, Prince, who passed away a year ago. He died of pneumonia. It was a Friday morning when I realized he was breathing at a faster pace, she says. So I took him to the hospital. He was suffering from fever and coughing always, but there was little we could do and finally lost him. According to the WHO, Pneumonia remains the leading infectious cause of death among children under five, killing approximately 2,400 children a day. Pneumonia accounted for approximately 16% of the 5.6 million under five deaths, killing around 880,000 children in 2016. Most of his victims were less than two years old. Largely, pneumonia symptoms vary according to age. But cough, increased respiratory rate, and fever are common symptoms. Professor Daniel Anson is with the Department of Child Health, School of Medical Sciences, KNUST. At the same time, this child, when you expose the child's chest, you would see that the child would be having other physical signs of respiratory distress. Some of these children, you would see their nostrils opening in and out, which we called the ferrin alanese. The other categories that you see is what we call the lower chest wall in drone, which is usually typical of the child developing the severe pneumonia. The disease is driven largely by poor access to healthcare and delay in health seeking for childhood pneumonia. These symptoms can easily be picked by the health personnel. But we have noticed that sometimes parents and caregivers ignore some of these symptoms of pneumonia. So the children are nearly unconscious and their disease has become very severe before coming to us. The scientists therefore embarked on a study aimed at training mothers who are the very core in child health care to recognize the very early signs of pneumonia and seek care promptly. With the help of the College of Art and the School of Public Health, KNUST, they have been able to come up with a bead, which is culturally acceptable, therefore designed in the colors of the national flag. We, we try to have a hypothesis that, or a, a, a training assumption that if the mother is able to count the respiratory rate within one minute and it falls within the green, then his child's respiratory rate is all right for that particular beat, for that particular age. If the mother counts the beats and it falls in the golden region, then it means either the child's respiratory rate is above the normal, and therefore the mother should count again and monitor the child. If the mother counts and it falls within the red zone, it means that the child's respiratory rate is very high. Count again is still in the red, then this mother needs to take the child straight to the hospital setting because they somehow the respiratory rate had gone up above the normal. There is a, a flyer here that shows that above the red, then you should go to the hospital and there is an, an ambulance sign on this flyer that would help the mother to be able to interpret what he's seen in, the, in this piece. Because some mothers have difficulties counting one minute on a clock, the scientists have come out with a sand timer. To do the counting or to aid with the counting of the respiratory rate. The scientists so far have trained about 100 mothers to detect early signs of pneumonia in children on the use of the multicolored bees. Uh, the findings revealed that these mothers who are not trained health personnel at home can even recognize clinical signs of respiratory distress. They can be able to count respiratory rate. They will begin an extended study in a bigger population to get a conclusive result.
reporting for Joy News. Kwesi Deborah.